so good. Yeah! Hooray! Hey guys, it's Marie. Welcome back. This one is going to be my book review of Legend by Marie Lu. I also have a blog post that goes a little bit more into detail about Legend, so if you're interested in that, the link to that is down below. And let's get started with this review. Yes, this book is on my Kindle. I know it's on my Kindle. Uh, I really like Kindles because I travel a lot and I take the train a lot, and it's really helpful to just have a bunch of books on one little device. That being said, I really like regular books. I love the feel of them. I'm reading the book by the Game of Thrones right now, which I will leave a rant about that down below um, when I get a chance to, or I'll make a video about it. So let me know if you want that. But I really, really looked for the actual book for the fifth book, Game of Thrones series, because I, I can't, I can't read them without having the physical pages in my hands because they're so long. Like, I need the satisfaction of finishing. Sorry, that was a little long and rambly, but yeah, I'll be doing a book review or book rant, however that goes, of the series, of the Song and Ice and Fire series. So if you're interested, uh, let me know and I'll do that for you guys. I'm still reading, I'm not 300 pages in, so yeah, but let me know. Now, I'm really excited about Legend. Um, I think they might be trying to make a movie about it. I'm not quite sure. It's another young adult dystopian YA fic. It's akin to Hunger Games and Divergent. If you've read those, you might love this one. So the plot is set in a war-torn United States in multiple years in the future. It's set in the aftermath of the Great War, which is in a place called the Republic, which is kind of like the Western, it is the Western United States. The Republic constantly pumps in war propaganda to all of its citizens, and students at the age of 10, actually all children at the age of 10, need to take a test called the trial, and the trial determines what position they will hold for the rest of their life. June is one of the only known students to ever receive a perfect score on her trial, and now at the age of 15, she's doing really well. She's a prodigy at the military academy that they have, which is the highest, I guess, status you can have, the highest eliteness you can be. She's very well cared for, she's loved, everybody knows her name, and she has no reason to question the Republic and its motives. Meanwhile, Day is the most wanted person in the Republic, and he is also a 15-year-old boy on the run after failing his trial at the age of 10. He doesn't really know where he's going, but he knows that he doesn't trust the Republic, and he needs to get out of there. When June's brother is murdered and Day is blamed for the crime, she is given her first assignment, and that is to take down Day. But of course, everything is not as it seems. There's also a lot of biological warfare and kind of sneaky, terrifying Big Brother-esque stuff that's happening in this world, but I can't give it away because that would be a spoiler. Now, I'm going to give this book three owl pals, I guess. Yeah, three owl pals, because I really love the setting. I loved how Lou wrote her characters. And I really liked how June is a strong female lead. Um, I think we need more of those in books nowadays and a lot less heroines making dumb decisions type of stuff because I've seen a lot more of that lately. Plus this book was quite addicting. I would say it's as addicting as Divergent was, if not more. Um, I really loved reading her world because I love dystopian fic. It's so close to 1984 and Big Brother and conspiracy and blood. I really like that. So if you're interested in that, this is a pretty good book for you. Now the reason I gave it three Owl Pals is because I honestly didn't like the writing. It wasn't as great as it could have been and I think that Lou might have been a little rushed. If she wasn't, I'm sorry, but I just didn't like the writing very much. If that doesn't bother you, then this is still a really great book. Uh, if it does bother you, take it with a grain of salt when you're reading it because I love the storyline and I really liked the premise of the book, but I honestly didn't like the way she wrote it. That being said, this book is a really quick read. I think I finished it in about a day and a half, going back and forth on the train, so it, it's pretty addicting. Um, and the best part about it is that you don't have to wait for the next book to come out because it's already out. I literally hit the, the buy button on the Kindle the second I was done with it because I needed to know what happened. I thought it was a really great book. Uh, I thought it was a good read, a quick read, uh, something to kill time with, and if you're interested in that, you should probably check this out. Leave a comment down below if you've already read the book so I can know what you think. 
And uh, also leave a comment if you have any other books or YA dystopian fic you'd like me to check out because I'm always on the hunt for the next great thing. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. Um, I also have a Goodreads account. I just kind of made it a few weeks ago, I want to say. I don't really know how to work it. Um, I'm still figuring that out, but I have one. So if you're interested in that, that's also below. Um, all the links to all social media are also there, so check us out on Twitter, and we will see you next time. Bye!